Hello, my friend. Do you want more success, more joy, more energy? Would you love to have more money, maybe a bigger home, a better kind of car, or just another car, right? We naturally have this desire for more and for ourselves to break through a mold that we've been in in order to attract a greater abundance, in order to be able to achieve more, in order to feel more, right? To feel even better, to have even more energy than what you've had before. Hi, Joe. Thank you so much for joining. This is what we are talking about in this video. And those of you who don't know me, my name is Afi Tal, and I'm known as a healing breakthrough facilitator. It is my job to help people like you connect the dots for when we see there's a greater vision of something else that we want and how do we actually get there. And here's three tips. The first thing is take baby steps, small steps. I always like in Mexico the saying, paso a paso, you know, step after step. We just take one step and then the other. But here's the thing is that you can't take steps the same as what you've already done because then you will continue to get the same results. What you want to do is take a slightly bigger step than what you've done before. So now you've created a slight angle upwards and if you continue on that trajectory, the gap gets much bigger. You've made a much bigger pivot in yourself. You've also raised the glass ceiling of what you automatically believe your potential is and feel that you deserve. So we want to increase that potential. And it's simply by taking slightly bigger steps and allowing a slightly greater abundance to come into your life. The next thing is in order to help you take a slightly bigger step than what you've done before is you could say break up all the patterning that's inside of you so that you can create a new set of patterns to associate with that greater sense of abundance, with that higher glass ceiling. So here's a simple way to train yourself to break patterns. It is if you have your trash can under the right side of the sink, put it under the left side of the sink. If you normally drive in the right lane of traffic, drive in the middle lane or the left lane of traffic as long as it's not the other direction. Um, but if you have multiple choices there, then choose a different choice than what you normally do. So you start to trigger yourself to break habits, which means you can create new lines of association to put in new patterning to enable something different. What I will say that has been happening in my life, especially this year, is I've just been asking constantly, how do I take a slightly bigger step than what I've done before? How do I do things slightly differently than what I've been patterned to do so that I continue to expand my potential? And I cannot tell you how thrilling it is to up-level your entire life, all areas of life from making shifts in just one area. So what you're also doing is what I call pushing your comfort zone or expanding what the boundaries are of your comfort zone. And this is a third point that I wanted to mention. So the first one was take small steps. The second is break your patterns, do something different than normal. And this third one is to be pushing your comfort zone. And by the way, those of you who are getting a lot out of this, please make sure that you like this video, that you make some comments, and that you share it with others so that they can get this value. Um, but here we are pushing our comfort zone. And what does that mean? So here's an example. Uh, for me, I, I actually posted on my YouTube video, you can go watch it, one of the very 
first videos that I've ever filmed. And it was me teaching a Pilates lesson. And at the time, I was a phenomenal Pilates instructor. And I was a fitness director and a teacher trainer. So I was training other instructors. And it's wonderful instruction. But what you might notice is that I'm kind of fake um, in the video. Like if you know me now, if you see how I talk now, right? I didn't get that natural in videos yet. I didn't get as emotionally expressive on videos. I was more emotionally expressive when I was in front of a live group, uh, but I still had more to go. And I started by just joining Toastmasters in order to gain more comfort of sharing stories and being more expressive. And then I joined a like a acting improv group because that really, really pushes you out of that comfort zone and makes you come up with all these weird things in the moment and tell stories more exaggerated than what you would normally. So I'm training myself of how to push that comfort zone, right, bigger than what it normally is. And then what I do simply for talks, um, like especially if I'm speaking to an audience that's a little a little more open, like not as conservative, then I'll push myself every now and then if I know it's going to be okay with that group. Like I just say something a little more risky or a little more funny than I might normally, right? Because I want to, as a speaker, be able to share the things that are my uncomfortable stories as well. The things I don't normally want to talk about or feel comfortable talking about, right? So it's to gain that comfort because the more that I share those deeper stories, the more that I share the bigger challenges that I've experienced, then the more those of you who have those challenges can relate and see how much you can overcome. Uh, so there's also reminding myself, for what reason do I want to push that comfort zone? There's a huge value, huge gift, a huge benefit in being able to do that. And I also want to give this example of one of my clients who uh, would just sort of stay with being friends with all these women and never express that he's actually interested in having something romantic and dating them or just sort of seeing some women around but never ever asking them out or to make plans. And I've been challenging him to just start asking people out. And, um, you know, of course, we go over how to do that. But the key is that we have to, in our one-to-one -one sessions, figure out what's holding him back from expanding that comfort zone so he feels comfortable just asking for what he wants. And so we break through those things, and then he's been doing it. And I, I love this. It. like, yeah, I just asked somebody out, you know, instead of waiting like years and hoping but never actually taking action, I just did it. Like she seemed like a really neat person who I'd love to have in my life. And she got really excited that I asked her out. She said, let's just go out as friends. Uh, but now I'm possibly going to have a really neat person in my life. And if I never said anything, that would not have happened either. And I'm totally fine with her saying doing it as just friends. Whereas in the past, it might have been a huge hit to his ego to hear that. So imagine how far he's gone in expanding his comfort zone for this simple thing that so many of us want to do and we often just don't quite do it. So if you're interested in somebody, like don't let that moment pass. I love watching those movies where it's like people finally get together decades later all because they couldn't just clearly communicate what they wanted and take that chance. How many areas in life could you actually have a lot more going on if you expanded your comfort zone to ask for what you want. I love this when I'm working on the Valentine's Soiree charity event. And I remember when I was working on my book and I was so nervous to ask people to interview in the book and to give an endorsement for the book. And, and truly for somebody to do an interview for the book, I mean, they end up in my book, my podcast, the online course, like my website, they had so many wonderful opportunities to share their gifts and gain more visibility. I was only offering them a gift, but it was so nervous to do that. And 
when it comes to the Valentine's soiree, I'm just so ready to create so many partnerships with so many people. And it's just taking those steps, getting the comfort, and that comfort zone will naturally expand. So I hope that helps. Uh, share some of the breakthroughs that you've had of when you've really expanded your comfort zone and what you think helped you get there so that we can keep adding our tips into uh, this video resource and share other pieces of wisdom as well. Oh yeah, and one more thing, um, this topic, I chose to share about this topic as a preview for the meditation coming up on Monday night as part of the Sit and Succeed Meditation Membership Program. So all you need to do is go to avitalmiller.com slash members in order to check that out and join us this coming Monday night live. And of course, it's recorded and I'll post the link to that site below this video. Thank you so much and many blessings.